Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name's John if you're new here and today we're gonna be talking about my first gay club experience. So grab some popcorn, sit back, relax, and enjoy this little story time video. And let's get started. <laughs> Guys, it is so hot in LA right now. It has been like 115, 105 the last two days. And it's humid now. And it's just like, it's so unbearable. I can't like, I can't think. So that's why I'm shirtless. I know you guys like when I'm shirtless. So like, I guess it's like a win-win situation. Okay guys, so basically to backtrack, um, my first gay club experience, I went with a guy I was dating on Tinder. I think we dated for about four weeks or so. And we still talked after, but after we dated, just like here and there, and then we did go to Vegas together, but that's another story. We were dating at the time, and I've never been to West Hollywood in LA, if you know where that is. That's like the gay capital of LA here in Southern California. And so we went out there, and I've never been to, I don't think I've ever been, yeah, I've never been to a club. I've been to a bar, but I've never been to a club, especially a gay club. So I didn't know what to expect, I had no idea, you know, obviously it's gonna be like maybe a shock to me and maybe not because I'm not used to that stuff. I really wasn't a partier person when I was in college. This happened after college, so I was like 22 or 23. So I was never really like a party person in college, mostly because I was like setting my ass off all the time. Um, but now I'm kind of regretting that because now I'm like, now I'm kind of going crazy, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So basically, we went out to West Hollywood, and he took me to my first gay club, which is Blow. If I, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. It was free because it was uh, before 11, I think. And I've never been to one, so I like I, I like seeing go-go dancers, and all that was like a shock to me. I was like, what the hell? They're in their little bikinis, or briefs, or whatever. And I, you know, it was it was a complete shock to me. I didn't, you know, I didn't really expect to see that. I wouldn't say I was like disgusted. I, I liked it, but I was just like, I was like, wow, this is kind of cool. That the, you know, people are there's like guys that are dancing like this, and there's a lot of people in there, a lot of gay people, obviously. And you know, I just felt, I felt different. I felt like for the first time in my life, I'm like not getting judged, in a way. Like it's like okay to be here. And you know, I really enjoyed my experience there. Mind you, guys, I wasn't out yet, so I've never been to a gay club. I've never experienced like certain gay situations like that. I mean, I've hooked up with people or I've had relationships with people, but I've never was out and comfortable with it. So it was a shock to me at some point. And, but I, it was like a good shock, you know what I mean? It was a good shock and I was just like, wow, this is really cool that these people can come together and celebrate and just love and equality and be themselves. And I, I really love that. Anyways, you know, we danced a bit. And they have two two or three floors on Fridays at Blow and WeHo. They have two or three dance floors, so I think we we're like in the middle one. We started off in the first one and it was like slow and then we went to the middle one. We danced a lot and then we ended up making out on the dance floor. I tend to do that a lot though. <laughs> anyway, so we did that and then we had a good time. I got super drunk. Super drunk. When I get drunk, I don't forget things. I just do stupid things. So, um, there's like completely two different things. And I mean, I can be completely shit-faced and I still remember everything. But we were going to another club. He met with these friends. I don't know who they were. We went in their car and they drove us to Tiger Heat, I think, which is not really the greatest club for like gay people. But I mean, we were going to Tiger Heat. I don't know why, but we were going to Tiger Heat. I just remember being in the back seat with him, on him, like, we were like, oh my god, like, I like you a lot. Like, just drunk talk, because I'm like, I'm lovey-dovey when I'm drunk. And he was like, I like you too, like, I don't want you to go anywhere. And I was just like, oh my god, he's telling me this is so cute. And then I'm just like, well, he probably doesn't mean that right now, but he's just saying because he's drunk. I think because I was sleeping on him, kind of like resting, because I was tired and drunk, and the motion of the car, I got really sick. So once we parked the car, I was just like, no, I have to I throw up, I have to throw up. I'm like, no, I can't, I can't. And mind you, I haven't been drinking for a while, so I was really drunk, really fast, which is a good thing if you take someone out on a date, because <laughs> they're pretty cheap. But I was a lightweight then, um, and basically, yeah, I ended up throwing up like a lot, I got really sick. Like I just remember walking down the staircase of the garage and I just remember like, I was like, I wait, hold on, I gotta throw up. I just like threw up on the stairs. 
And yeah, and I just kept walking, and then it was, it was like one point I was just like, you know what, I can't, I can't anymore, like, I can't, I'm just like too drunk. So I just like kind of sat on the floor next to a car, and then I started puking, and I was just like, go get me a water. I was like, go get me a water or something, because there's a 7-Eleven around the corner. And my phone kept falling out of my pocket, so I was like, yeah, I was like, here, here, here's my phone, go get me a water. I'll be right here, you know? So I just, I sat there, I tried to like sober up, and I waited for him to get back. Give me the water, and I was like, oh, thank God. And I was like, where's my phone? And this motherfucker's like, you didn't give me your phone. I'm like, yes, I did. I gave you my phone. And he's like, no, you didn't. And I'm like, yes, I specifically remember giving you my phone. And he's like, no, you didn't. And I was just like, oh my God. I'm like, whatever, I'm not gonna argue with you anymore. Like, obviously you lost my phone. And I started looking around like the area where my phone was, and I was obviously drunk, so I'm like, like, I don't really can't see what I'm doing, but I was looking for my phone, I had like a big phone, the Galaxy Note 4, or whatever, if you remember that phone. So I was looking for that, and I was like, I can't find my phone. And I was like, this motherfucker lost it, he probably left it in 7-Eleven, but I was just like, whatever, I'm drunk, like, whatever, I'll just find it tomorrow, or whatever, you know? And so he called an Uber, and we waited for the Uber, and I, right now I'm like mad because I lost my phone, but I'm also like, not mad because like I want him to take me home because I can't move. I get in the Uber and then I start feeling that feeling again. I'm like, oh shit. If I throw up in the car, that's gonna be bad because they're gonna have to pay for it. Mind you, I have a friend that's done that twice. <laughs> They've never caught her. You are, I know who you are. I'm not gonna say your name on camera, but I know who you are. You threw up in Uber twice and it's hilarious. I felt her on that level and basically I was like, I was just holding it and I was like, no, no, don't throw up, don't throw up, don't throw up, please don't throw up. And I was just like holding it, like, we're almost in the car, we're almost in the car, don't throw up, don't throw up. And then he got out and I just puked and I was like, okay. That's it, I'm good, I'm good. And then we went to his car, and then he dr ended up driving me home. Again, I had to puke, so I opened the door and I was just like, Bleh. <laughs> All in all, I had a really good experience. He drove me home, we ended up spending the night together. We didn't do anything, but he ended up spending the night here because I was just like, you can't drive home, it's too far for you, because he, he lived like somewhere way out in San Bernardino County. So I was just like, you know what, don't don't go out there, um, just stay here. And he ended up spending the night and nothing happened. We had a good time that night and I just got really drunk and I lost my phone, which was fun, not really. I never ended up finding my phone. Someone actually found it, tried to call me and they wanted money for my phone. They're like, how much are you gonna give me for it? I'm like, I'm not gonna give you money, it's my old phone. And at that time, I already bought a new iPhone, so I was just like, well, I already have a phone, I just want the pictures, you know? But that guy never called me back. He hung up because I wasn't gonna give him money for my own phone for finding it. I'm just like, really? Really? It's not even your property. Like, what is it worth to you? Plus, it's the Verizon phone, and it's not an iPhone, so that phone can't really work at all, and I locked it completely. So once he turned it on, like, the cops will know like if he tries to activate it and all that. Anyways, that was my first club experience. And ever since then, like I don't get like plastered like that when I go out. But then again, I can't get that drunk anymore because I'm not as lightweight as I am. I don't know, I love gay clubs. I love going out to gay clubs. I can't go to bar, straight bars or straight clubs because it just it doesn't feel the same. Like I feel like free there and I just, I love being there around, just surrounded by your own people, you know? And it's just, it's a lot of fun, like, I mean, I'll go to straight clubs with my friends, but I would never go by myself or anything like that. Like, I, I genuinely like to go to gay clubs, and a lot of my friends like going there too, because it's, the straight ones, because it's like, if they're girls, they don't get as hit on as much, and it's just like, they have a lot of fun. And, you know, the gays know how to party. The gays know how to party. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little story time I had of my first gay experience in a club. Then I think about it, we only went to one club. <laughs> Nowadays, I go to many clubs and I, I don't get that way. <laughs> As always, guys, love yourself, explore, just have fun and be safe. I mean, I know alcohol makes you do some stupid things, but just be safe and be aware of what you're doing. I'm always aware of what I'm doing when I'm drunk, so I'm thankful for that. I just do stupid things, you know? but I know like not to drive, I know not to have sex with people, stuff like that. Like I know what to do when you're drunk because you can't do certain things when you're intoxicated. It's dangerous and you just got to be safe. With that in mind, be safe out there if you do drink, you know, or you know, do drugs. Like just be safe. Like I'm not judging you. Just be safe and have fun. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you like this, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe for more content. If you like more story times, let me know down in the comments below. I have tons of stories, guys. I can tell you all things. Like, I mean, that's just the short version. I can go on and on and on, but 
probably get boring as fuck. <laughs> Anyways, guys, remember to follow me down on my social media links. They will be linked down below. As always, guys, never give up, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.